you can't imagine how enjoyable it is when you find a new circumvention tool and it works. It's like changing the world. So imagine that you need something from the store, but for some reason you can't go outside. So you could send someone else to the store to get the thing for you. And assuming they can go outside, they can get the thing and bring it back to you. So that's basically what a proxy does. But the problem is that, for example, uh, about web proxies, the, the government each day blocks millions of them so that the people cannot use. Or about the tools like UltraSurf, FreeGate, whatever there, there are, they will block ports or try to prevent users from using the circumvention tools. But, but this is the creativity, looking for the new ones and looking for the updated versions, looking for information about it, because you need it. When there is a well, there is a way. Psyphon works like a standard website. You just uh, go to the Psyphon website and uh, there you will see a little bar where you can enter the website address you want to visit. You hit enter and then you will see the website address which is normally blocked on your connection. Proxy technology is very simple. I remember I gave some testimony to a US government body that was talking about whether people who use proxies in committing a crime should be punished more harshly for having done that. And I was trying to explain to them that proxies are very simple. And I created a proxy in about five lines of computer code and it worked. So the technology behind proxies is not really complex in any way. That doesn't necessarily mean that using them to circumvent censorship is always easy or reliable or safe. But the proxy technology is really extremely simple as far as technology goes. If you want to use a metaphor, you could say it's sort of like a relay race where you're passing a baton to somebody else and then they uh, get it to the destination that you want and vice versa.